Hallelujah, hallelujah. Beloved in Christ, I welcome each and every one this morning. Father, we are going to pray. Beloved, let us pray to Almighty God. Heavenly Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, this is another day you have given to your children. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. We magnify your holy name. Among the gods, who is like unto thee? There is no one like you. So, Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. This is the day you have given to us. Beloved, listeners of Kenawu, I welcome each and every one this morning that the Lord of hosts has given us this day. So, beloved, we thank the Lord for a moment like this. It is by his grace, it is by his mercy that we are alive. Unto thee, O Lord, we thank you. This is the hour that the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ must be preached. We started a series about the fruit of the Spirit. And today we are going to continue about the fruit of the Spirit. The message is coming from Prophetess Anna, USC. May God use me a vessel this morning to bring his message. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Shall we turn our Bibles? to Ephesians 4 and the verse is 31. Ephesians 4, 32 rather. And I read, and be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgive you, amen. Beloved, it's all about kindness which is the fruit of the spirit. Kindness is like ge generosity, considered in a friendly way. We have to be kind to one another. The opposite of kindness is wickedness. The spirit leads us to be kind to someone. And indeed, we have to be kind it could be a person that he might be in need the moment to do him or her a favor that is kindness hallelujah you will be touched by the spirit of god to do kindness because it is a gift of the fruit of the spirit the reality the royal of the spirit of god in doing favors, like giving and his direction, as the Bible say in Acts. So shall we turn our Bible to Acts and the verse is 26. Shall we read Acts 26 and let us read. Now the angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise and go towards the south, along the road, which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is about kindness, which Philip did for the Enoch who came to Jerusalem to wash, to worship the Lord. So the Spirit took Philip to do the favor or the goodness to this Enoch. So the passage is telling us that the fruit of the spirit of kindness to be done. And we continue on 35. So I read the same at 8, 35. Then there's then Philip opened his mouth and began 
to read the scripture, preaching Jesus unto him. Now, 36, now as they went down to the road, they came to some water, and the Enoch, Enchiler, said, See here is water. What hinder me from being baptized? 37. Then Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Beloved, this is what the man needs. He wanted to know Christ. So this passage is telling us, Philip, the spirit of the Lord, took him to meet this angel, and he was baptized, and he accepted Jesus Christ as his personal savior. So this morning, what hinder us not to do kindness? papa So what? So if the Bible is telling us, be kind to one another by teaching our little children to do kindness to one another, it is so good. In Deuteronomy, it is the same, saying we should teach our children to know about kindness. Hallelujah. Shall we turn our Bibles to Psalm 23 and the last verse? Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. So we have to be kind. We have to do good. This is about goodness. Goodness. What is goodness? Goodness is to know our Lord Jesus Christ. He is good in everything. The greatest gift of our salvation was given to a mankind by shedding his precious blood. Who can do this? No one except him. May the author of internal salvation be praised, exalted, magnified this morning or this afternoon, wherever you are, the listeners, listen to Prophet Kennedy. It is good to do others good. As God see it. Hallelujah. Beloved, the fruit of the Spirit have given his children that gift. So we have to acquire the Almighty God bear us in them our spirit that we must be hungry for this spirit. The spirit, the fruit of the spirit of God. We need it because it is a gift. And we know the Holy Spirit, our friend, our comforter, our teacher, when we ask, he will give it to us. He is a friend indeed. Amen. Let us thank him, exalt him, praise him. I will glorify him with a song. Because we need to do good. We need to exalt him. We need to praise him. So I will sing a song to glorify our maker. My Lord is good. 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 Is good to me. Minya miye. Minya miye. Minya miye. Minya miye. Minya miye. Oh yeah, mami. Oh, mi nya mi ye, mi nya mi ye, mi nya mi ye, mi nya mi ye, mi nya mi ye. Oh, ye mami. He is good indeed. He paid a price. 
Like I said, who can do this? Our last one is faithfulness. As we can read in Hebrew 3, Hebrew 11, rather, and the verse is 1. And let us go to the scripture. Now, this is about faith, faithfulness. Now, faith is a substance of things hoping for, the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Beloved, faithfulness. For example, you are working for a company and you know payday is coming. You are hoping you will be paid tomorrow. Same thing with our Lord Jesus Christ. So we have to be faithful to serve our Lord Jesus Christ in faith. That's why the Bible, Hebrew 11, verse 1, let us know. It's a substance. Hoping, and when you hope it, it will surely come to pass. Faithfulness is about speaking the truth to one another. About giving our ties genuinely to men of God. Be faithful in doing the work of God. Because faithfulness in you will let you see the glory of God. He has given us the strength to do or to work. So whatever we have, we have to give the tithe and offering to genuine men of God. It's like planting a seed. Eventually, the seed will grow and you will have a crop. So same thing by giving to the men of God in faithfulness. Because it is God, the work of God, you need to do it in faithfulness and you will sow in plentiful. Hallelujah. So this morning, I have a question. Do we do good to genuine men of God by giving in faithfulness? Or sometimes you have the money. You don't want to give, but you want to receive, receive. Oh, man of God, genuine man of God, pray for me. And the man will pray for you. But have you thought to give him the service he has given to you? Oh, beloved, this is the moment. We have to change and do, and do the work of God in faithfulness, in sincerity. We give him all the glory. Our last one is self-control. Beloved, self-control. Do you control yourself? How is your anger? Self-control in everything. Self-control in your life. Or pleasing the, the flesh. This flesh, it won't take us anywhere. We don't have to. Please this, the flesh. It is our Lord Jesus Christ. He, is, he must be the center of everything. The Spirit of God has to help us to control this, our flesh. So we have to be eager to know the Word of God as is the fruit of the Spirit. Is it in us the nine gifts, which is love, gentleness, joy, kind, self-control, goodness, kind, faith, and self-control. We have to bear all this in us as children of the Most High God. Soon and soon, he will appear. And this is my question this morning. If we have this, we will grow in the spirit because it's the fruit. Holy Spirit has all this nine, nine gifts to be given to us. But when we don't have it, when the sound or the trumpet uh, come, when he come, when he appear, it will be too late. So beloved, let us yield to the Holy Spirit, our teacher, our comforter, our guide, and a friend, the most powerful teacher on this earth. 
He is the governor of the land. He govern us now. And very soon, the owner of the land, he will appear. We give him all the glory. For this morning, the message we have to acquire. We need it in our life as children of the Most High God so that we can serve the Lord, our God, our maker, our master, sincerely in faithfulness, and all this fruit we will bear. We thank the Lord. I want to take this opportunity to thank Almighty God for feeding us this message through the Holy Spirit. We adore, we thank him. And also I want to thank the prophet, a vessel that he has yielded himself, that God is using, especially when you call him, oh, prophet, I don't feel good. He will tell you, take a water in your own home, and he will pray with you. And healing will take place. What a marvelous God, using his servant. This is end time servant. Beloved, let us, we all would want to call, support, him in everything because it is a servant, a genuine servant that God has ordained. Beloved listeners, listen to me this morning. This is the time we all have to come together and fellowship on the Zoom. We meet on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Paris time is nine o'clock. Let us come and see the glory, the power of God on the uh, platform through his servant. May God help us this morning. May God have mercy upon us so that we will do the work of God. May God help Prophet Kenneth and the family and also the listeners around the whole world. We give him all the glory in Jesus' name. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.